Thousands of years before these Knights Templar in Jerusalem, in another time, God had sent a prophet who made these apostate devils humiliated and submissive to him, and whoever among them objected would disappear with the glance of an eye. Do you know who this sent prophet was? He is the prophet or King Solomon, son of David. Peace be upon him. Now I will let this devil complete for you and tell you about what happened at that time. When this prophet came, we were scattered and did not know anything about what he was commanding us to do, and if we disobeyed, we would be burned in the blink of an eye. The winds were subject to his command, and he spoke the language of birds. We tasted woe and torment for many years. I was working according to his orders, but he was not satisfied with that, but rather made us follow his religion, and whoever objected would be imprisoned in a copper jar for many years and sent into exile. And exile was a prison for us in the form of an island. It was the same island that the only Arab Tamim ibn al-Dari, who spoke to the Antichrist, passed by. He placed a veil over our eyes and prevented us from being exposed to anything. Forget, this was the worst thing he did to us. We used to build great palaces. And the greatest palace we built was a glass palace, this architectural masterpiece that the well-known woman, Bilkis, walked on. We were armies, kings and princes, subject to his command, and we remained in this state for many years, and he did not leave any evil or magic in that time without eliminating it. We used to tremble when someone called or heard the tone of his voice. He was a sent prophet who did not disbelieve and was not a magician. Rather, we were the ones who rebelled and disbelieved after him. The children of Israel considered him an obvious and great magician, but we were the ones who conveyed this revelation to them. Do not ask, O human being, how this happened, because he will need another article. Our goal was to revive our journey and make mankind remember it until a day came when the prophet of God, Solomon, became ill. It was a severe illness, and the doctors of mankind and the sages of the jinn suffered from it. Even the birds brought him all kinds of herbs from all over the earth, but they did not work for him, and he sat on his great throne. It was the greatest throne my eyes had ever seen. He has treasures that the world has never seen and will never witness because they are guarded by his loyal followers. They are goblins, Jin. They are very strong and they guard his kingdom. Wait for the next episode to tell you how I unearthed the treasure.